Hello everybody. Uh, I would like to dedicate following video to Nick from IDIC Beer uh, for his appreciation comp competition for a thousand subscribers. And Nick, for you all the best and uh, keep it keep it going as it is. For the other guys, people go to his channel and subscribe because it's really worth it. And as for the video, that will be a video about uh, stripping paint uh, from your models in easy way using one simple product you can get absolutely everywhere so I hope you will like it and have a nice day bye bye hi guys so I decided to try and save as much as I can from this video about stripping paint and also tried out uh, a video rendering program which I have so that's as I said, it's 15 FPS, so I'll be recording the voice over the picture, so I'm not sure how it will work, never done that before on these videos. Uh, so, I hope it will work. Anyway, let's start to the point. Uh, idea for this video is from the Mortimer, a guy in Poland who's making also videos on the, uh, YouTube. You can know him from the channel called By Painted. Uh, and if you find a foreign languages, you can uh, check his Polish channel, which is called Citadel PL. Uh, anyway, I will put in the description the links uh, to his channel, so you can check him out if you don't know him. He's got uh, nice ideas, uh, really well done, and basically he's worth checking out and subscribing. Uh, what it will be? Uh, he put on his Polish channel an idea how to strip the paint from the models, especially from plastic ones. Uh, for metal ones, I know I know that you can use, for example, uh, a pine oil. This this kind of a this small boat is med medical stuff. It's stripping paint. It's stripping basically everything, and smells nicely. Uh, but it melts plastic, so the stuff he found out is working pretty well on plastics as well. Uh, so yeah, let's go to the video and check what we can do with it. Good luck. Okay, so that's our uh, testing models, that's a uh, plastic space marine and that's a guy from Malifo, metal one, and he is varnished and that's that will be a problem as you will see. Uh, I got this model from a friend, the same guy who gave me uh, my airbrush, so yeah, I'm really grateful. So that's our magical product, I put the models to the small plastic container, pour the liquid, cover it up and just wait. Don't drink the stuff. It's horrible and it's not for humans. I will show you in a sec uh, at the end of the video what exactly it is. But anyway, I'll hold them in this container for like 12... No, that was 24 hours, which worked pretty well for the plastic guy. And it's not enough for the varnish. But that's the result now. Okay, so I'm back. That's the effect from just keeping the model under the water stream. I didn't touch it with anything. Uh, so paint from the plastic one just went out in like flakes. Uh, from metal one it haven't. It's still the same. So let's see if it as you can see, it's going off still. I just need to use a little brushing. Okay, so as you could see, plastic one works pretty well, metal doesn't. I will tell you that. And that's after another 24 hours. So after 48 hours, a varnished metal is getting uh, giving you off the paint. And now I'm holding my minis for like, I don't know, a week now, because I have a huge box of them now, uh, waiting in this liquid, so it should work. And that's our magical stuff. Yes, it's DOT4 brake fluid. So, that's the product and how it works. I hope that you will give it a try and it will work great for you, at least as, as good as for me. So, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.